Welcome. This is Padma Gordon here with the Rare Mothers in Relationship workshop. So today we're talking about being in a we, being in, in a couple or being in some sort of container where you're really connected to each other, whether it's um, your elderly parent or a really good friend or one of your caregivers, there are two of you in that uh, relationship. And inside of that relationship, there's you and there's me and there's the we, that is us. And so we have to really tend and take care of each other in this relationship to have it feel safe and supportive. And there are so many ways that we can tend to each other by paying attention, by being appreciative, by noticing the little things and noticing what someone is doing rather than focusing on what they are not doing. And it can be so easy to look, for example, it's at that your partner or your, the caregiver did a task and they didn't complete it fully. They didn't clean up from the task. They didn't put everything away nicely in the way that maybe you would. So these are just very, very small things. And also just taking the time in your life to recognize and appreciate the people who are there with you. Really just noticing, oh, aren't I lucky to wake up with this person in my life, be it a partner, a friend, someone on your caregiving team. So I really invite you to relax and receive. Uh, first, I'm going to read a poem by Ellen Bass from her book. Uh, it's called Like a Beggar. And I love her work and it starts with a quote from Rilke. So we're going to go into a seven minute meditation. And I just want to say, I know that taking time for yourself can be challenging. And I want to let you know that you are worth it, that you are worth it, and that when you take the time to tend to yourself, you expand your capacity to be present and then to naturally tend to your relationships. And relationships provide nourishment, or they can also be draining. So when we are nourished and connected, then our relationships can be nourishing and supportive. So letting your eyes close, making yourself comfortable, you can sit or lay down. Begins with, this is called, the world has need of you. Everything here seems to need us. Rainer Maria Rilke. I can hardly imagine it as I walk to the lighthouse, feeling the ancient prayer of my arms swinging in counterpoint to my feet. Here I am, suspended between the sidewalk and twilight, the sky dimming so fast it seems alive. What if you felt the invisible tug between you and everything? A boy on his bicycle rides by, his white shirt open, flaring behind him like wings. It's a hard time to be human. It really is. We know too much and too little. Does the breeze need us, the cliffs, the gulls? If you've managed to do one good thing, the ocean doesn't care. But when Newton's apple fell toward the earth, the earth ever so slightly fell toward the apple. So really taking a nice deep breath. And allowing your eyes to close if they aren't already. And feeling the weight of your eyelids. Allowing your breath 
to invite softening and surrender. Recognizing that you, as a rare mother, as a caregiver, are taking this time for yourself, for yourself. And I don't know if this is something that is rare or common for you. And as you breathe right now, in a way that is easeful, nourishing, feels good to you, to your body. Just notice that you are taking time for yourself. Perhaps noticing what it feels like to turn your attention inside. Maybe it's relaxing or perhaps a little scary or uncomfortable. Just noticing if your mind comes in with your list of things you should or could be doing other than this. And then I wonder what it would be like to set that list aside, knowing that you will come back and handle all of the important things in your life, caring for your child, tending to your home, responding to the people in your life, with kindness, a gentle kindness and appreciation. And right now, this is your time. Breathing and relaxing into the comfortable seat of yourself. Every breath invites you to settle a little bit more into the seat of yourself.
in this last minute or so. Take this time to appreciate yourself. The practice of self-appreciation feeds you and you're training yourself, you're training your mind to receive what you are already doing, what you are already giving, what you are already being. So let it in. and receive with breath. We'll take a nice full breath. And thank yourself, maybe putting the hands together, resting them on your heart, or giving yourself a hug, whatever feels good to you. Thank yourself for taking this time for you. And then as you're ready, you can let your eyes come open. And when you practice this with yourself, you can naturally practice this with others, with the important people in your life, gentle kindness and appreciation. So, thank you so much. I look forward to being with you in our next workshop. We meet every Tuesday at 10 a.m. So please also reach out to me through Mighty Networks. I am here to support you and be your ally in this life.